YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back with my Week 12 NFL lock. Taking a look at some straight-up locks, spread picks, over-unders, and upsets of the week. It's a very tough week. We'll take a look at what I got in just a second. We have extra content on our Patreon, playoff predictions, score predictions, and mock drafts. All that is part of one package deal there. You get plenty of content, and you help support our channel. Patreon.com slash so Goat House. There's a link towards the top of the description in every video. 40k that's our subscriber goal we're getting kind of close there so i really appreciate you guys if you do subscribe if you don't full nfl content here at the goat house even in the off season with the free agency and draft period so please help us out by subscribing click that like button check us out on twitter goat house nfl link in the description for that as well but the week 12 locks uh there's a lot of really good games that can go either way this week we were split on a lot of tight games in our pickums this week if you haven't seen that but uh, straight up lock, it is tough. Every week there's a good one to take. Some weeks I've even done two. Uh, but I got to go with the Saints this week. I mean, it is, it's, it's hard to see that being a lock because the Panthers are a very good team. I just do not see the Saints losing on top of it being a tough week. And I think this is the most likely to be a lock. Uh, the Saints at home against the Panthers. Uh, you know, the Panthers just got to do too much to keep up with the Saints. It's just one of those games where, you know, McCaffrey carries for the most part. Uh, Kyle Allen, I'm impressed with him for the most part. Not always. Still got a lot of work to do. Offensive line's inconsistent. And it's really just DJ Moore that's a consistent one on the receiver unit. Um, so they have to do a lot to keep up with a very good offense in the Saints. One that is still kind of getting their groove back with Drew Brees and getting going. Uh, and their defense has been playing at an extremely high level. And they are playmakers. Meaning they, they're not just a lockdown defense. They're getting their hands on the ball. We saw that last week. So... Be a very tough one for the Panthers. Very strange though, because they both just played the Falcons recently and both had maybe their worst games of the season. Uh, the Saints for sure. Uh, so which which one of these teams will show up? Uh, will it be that one, or uh, maybe both, or you know maybe they both show up or don't show up? I don't know. But I'm gonna go with the Saints. I just don't see the Panthers uh, keeping up with them mainly. So that's that's why my straight up lock is the Saints. Uh, my spread lock is the Seahawks plus one and a half. They're getting one and a half points at. Philadelphia Eagles. Now, this is one I've had my eye on, you know, even from earlier in the year. I thought this would be, or before the season, really, that this would be a key game here. Maybe the the pick early in the year would be the Eagles. Uh, and now I'm picking the Seahawks, obviously. And so you may say this is a this is this could be a toss up. At first glance, it could be a toss up in Philly. It's pretty much a must win for them at this point. Uh, I just don't see how the Seahawks don't win this game, and they're getting one and a half points here. Um, you know, looking at what the Eagles got going here, looking at where their struggles are. Most of the year, it was their secondary. They started to pick it up recently, but they haven't played the MVP, possible MVP in Russell Wilson in this Seahawks offense. So I don't think there'll be any problem with the, the Seahawks throwing the ball downfield, especially on the bye week. That offensive line needed a rest. What's the other weaknesses of the Eagles? And mainly recently, offensive line, mainly because it's beat up. And even when it's healthy, I don't know if it's, you know, people expect a number one offense line. I don't know if it's quite there. It's definitely not there right now. That's for sure, mainly because it's beat up. And receiver play. So that's not going to help in this game. That's definitely not going to help. Carson Wentz is not playing his best ball when that those things are at a weak point, and they are. Clowney's a guy that's heating up. That pass rush is heating up. Jaron Reed was suspended for a little bit this season, so he's a guy that's getting his groove back too. I, I just don't – I mean, the, the Eagles are a good team. They're home. So, I mean, they could definitely win the game. I, I just there's really no logical reason besides they're home and they have to win that the Eagles will win this game. There's really no matchup reason to pick, to pick the Eagles here. The Seahawks getting one and a half points uh, makes a lot of sense to for me to take them. We'll see though. This is a tough week. Um, we're gonna go to my upsets first. Then I got games that I like that they they're not locks, but I like. Uh, I got the Colts beating the Texans tonight, Thursday night. Um, you know, Thursday night's always weird. It feels like I am the only non-Colts fan picking the Colts tonight. So that is odd. So I'm going to become a huge Colts fan just for tonight only. I'm sorry, the Texans fans. Don't think you care if you have me, though. Um, but I'm picking the Colts. I've done pretty good on my straight-up picks. Uh, I'm 10th out of all experts, you know, so-called experts, I guess, in the world uh, in, in picks. So I feel like I've done a pretty good job. Uh, but a lot of those guys are at the top are picking the Texans. That's why it's weird. So that's this is one I'm a little scared about. But uh, I, I I like the Colts. Short week. Who's the better game planner? You got Frank Reich, Reich towards the top of the NFL. And then you got Bill O'Brien, who is a somewhat of a concern. 
um, I guess, questionable. Some weeks you like him, some weeks you hate him. Uh, and then you got T.Y. Hilton most likely coming back, try, still trying to get word on that. Um, I, I like the Colts. I, I, I like them in this game. Um, you know, I think that, and people forget that the Colts would be eight and two if Jacoby Brissett wasn't hurt either. So they look at six and four, and they look at who they lost to, and people kind of question them. But it's more than about that. So I'm going to go with the Colts here. Uh, but it's a Thursday night game. Those games are weird. Seahawks at Philadelphia, like we already talked about. The the Eagles are favored, so the, the Seahawks technically is an upset, even though it doesn't really feel like one. So those are my upsets. Now, since it's a tough week and there was not many locks at all that I had, I went through games I like. So to be Clear. These are not locks for me. Uh, these are just games I like. Colts plus four against the Texans. I'm picking the Colts to win. I'm not super confident about it, but they're getting four points. I do not see them losing by more than a field goal. But why isn't this one? I, you know, this would be a lock for me, but because it's on Thursday night, it's not a lock. It's a like for me. Uh, Thursday night is weird, but I, I just, I think they're going to win the game. Like I said, I'm not 100% confident on that, but I, I just don't see them losing by more than a field goal. I, I just really don't. Um, the Bills minus four against the Broncos. Uh, the Bills haven't really played too many great teams this year, and they seem to be close with these types of teams. Uh, but the Broncos, and the Broncos have been better than their record shows, uh, but I just think going to Buffalo, Buffalo's kind of getting the groove going. Uh, there might be a little bit of life lost from Denver there. Uh, I just think, and the Bills, de- the, the Broncos haven't seen the Bills' defense yet. So uh, this new uh, Brandon Allen, who has he played? He's played the Browns' defense and he's played the Vikings' defense. And first glance, it's like, okay, he played pretty well against the Vikings' defense. Yeah, it was impressive, but the Vikings' defense ain't the same. It's not the Bills' defense. So I, I just don't see the Broncos getting enough on offense here. Uh, I, I had the Bills winning by, uh, I, I think, a, a, at least a touchdown or around there, uh, at least six points, I should say. But. Um, it's over four for sure. Uh, so the Raiders minus two and a half. It's a little of a tricky one. People call this a trap game in New York. Uh, we see New York surprise the Cowboys. Uh, the Raiders are getting better and better. I wouldn't focus too much on the Bengals scoreline last week. It was a little surprising, but and they were playing it safe, running the clock, because I knew they were better than them after they already had the lead. I want to keep guys healthy and rested. It was smart. I think that's what they did. I can't say I'm 100% certain that's what they did, but it sure looked like it to me. And I said that could happen before the game. Uh, the Raiders are just better. They're just better than the Jets. Um, you know, two offensive teams, I'd say, recently, even though the Jets have big-time playmakers on defense. Uh, but I don't, there's not too much you can do against this Raiders offense, in my opinion. Uh, they do a good job running the ball first and opening up the pass. The offensive line looks great. The defense is getting better for the Raiders. The secondary is getting better, uh, but but the pass rush, uh, guys like Max Crosby, getting better and better. Um, it's a test for the Jets this week. I, the Raiders, two and a half is a good number because you'd think the very bottom line is they win by three. And then I didn't have an over-under lock of the week. They're all very, very tough. Um, this one that I like, though, is Steelers-Bengals under 39. Uh, that's a pretty low number, but Steelers beat up all over on the offense. Uh, on the offense. Uh, Marquise Pouncey suspended, too, don't forget. And uh, obviously, like I said, James Conner, Juju Smith-Schuster out. Uh, Deontay Johnson could be could be out as well uh but even if he plays you know it's still those two other guys that are big time players that are out and the Bengals played a pretty good defensive game last week so I don't see the Steelers scoring I mean you could check out my score prediction see what I had but I had them well under 39 uh, but I'm trying to think of like the top line here what what two, these two teams can total up to and the very top of the line is still under 39 it is why it's not a lock and it's a like though is because that Bengals defense is really no matter how they played last week, it, whether you like it or not, it's at the bottom of the league. So the Steelers could get some things going, and they can score on defense or put their offense in positions to score very easily, and that is the trickiest part about over-under. You think these two teams, and you think about their offenses all the time and what they can do, but you forget about defenses, You know what this defense can do to put their either score points or put their offense in the situation, and the Steelers very much can do that, and that's why it's on a lock for me. But looking at you know what I come up with with different scenarios, different score predictions uh it, it should be under 39 it should be under 39 we'll we'll see though and again for the Bengals I don't see them getting enough offense going pretty much clear from what I said yeah you can make that assumption uh but yeah those are games I like I just figured I'd show games I like because there's not enough locks this week it's a very good week of football very close week uh close games good crucial games very crucial games you're looking at the Seahawks the Eagles uh the Packers uh, and the Niners, and the, the Colts and the Texans, huge, huge tonight on Thursday Night Football. And the other AFC South battle, battle, Jags and Titans, I mean, that's a must win, I think. Loser of that game 
you know, might be favorites to finish last in that division. Tough division. So we'll see. A lot of good games. Really looking forward to it. That's going to do it for this video, though. We're back every single week. Also got recaps, power rings, all kinds of predictions. More to come. And we got extra content on our Patreon. Always adding more to that. So please check it out. Please subscribe. Click that like button. Really appreciate you guys for being here. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.